Okay, how to break it to them, how to break it to them, okay. Okay, I got one. Hey, what's up guys, I got a confession to make. Last week I went to the eye doctor, had an eye exam, and unfortunately my test results came back that I need glasses. I now am a part of the glasses club, officially. So, let's try not to make fun, guys, okay? What's up everybody? So today's video is is very on topic for me and maybe for some of you guys. And my dearest thing that I hold closest to my heart is my Annie. She's my girl and she's leaving tomorrow. But I want to put together six tips on how to let go. Now this is how to let go of a person, how to let go of an object, um, just how to let go of something that means a lot to you because in life you're gonna have to let go a lot and it sucks every time. These six are ones that have actually worked for me. So these are the best six tips on how to let go. Let's do it. Tip number one, and this for sure has been put to the test with me, keep busy. Get busy, get a job, get a hobby. The longer you sit and sit in silence or sit alone, the more it gives your brain to kind of think about stuff. Do something that will occupy your mind. Tip number two, and this one is super important, and this one is based on time. Everybody is different in terms of time and when they're ready to let go. You have to unromanticize the object or the person. Stop viewing them as they're your only one, or your one true love. I think the biggest flaw for me growing up was teachers, parents, everybody telling you that there's one true love and when you meet them you get this jolt of electricity and you feel it and you just know. And I don't believe in that system. I think with seven billion people in this world, there's probably millions of people out there that you could, that could be your soulmate. But when you realize that there's more, for me, more girls out there, or there's more people out there, it changes everything. I don't know, I don't know. It's just, it's just a good tip that has worked for me. Tip number three, find a quote that you truly like. And for me, that quote has been for a couple years now is everything happens for a reason. I'm not trying to preach this to you, but what I'm saying is when you have something that you truly believe in or you abide by, it makes things easier. And there's one out there for you, you just gotta find it and maybe kinda stick by it. Tip number four, hey, this one's very important as well. I learned this particularly this past year. Attach yourself to goals and not people because when you attach yourself to people and they leave or they go, that's where the attachment issues come in because you relied on them so much. These things happen and you can't put all your eggs in one basket. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Oh, you know, I want to get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I can do that no matter where I am and I'm not relying on somebody else to do it for me. Tip number five, and this is probably the biggest freaking tip, is get confidence. Now you're like, what the f How do you get confidence? That's a whole nother video alone, but to get confidence, you have to do something you love and know that you're good at it. Because when you're good at something, it gives you purpose and it makes you feel special and it makes you feel like you can hold your own. I think once you're able to hold your own or at least feel like you can hold your own, you can do anything. I mean, it's giving you hope. When you have confidence, you get hope. And last but not least, oh my gosh, my eyes are so messed up right now. Stop being a victim and don't look for sympathy. It's the worst thing you can do because you're gonna drown yourself in sympathy and be like, woe is me, I'm not good enough, the world hates me, and you do this whole sympathy thing and you just want people to be like, no, you're amazing, you're the best. You gotta get off your ass and do it yourself because again, if you sit at home, sympathy likes to creep in on people when they have nothing to do. Stop feeling bad for yourself, stop feeling like a victim, and go out there and find a hot chick and Start seeing her. Just get your mind out of there. It's not worth it. It's not good for you. So there you guys have it. Those are six tips on how to get over something, someone. These were the six that best suited me out of like literally, I probably read like 200 tips. And they were stupid, like get a stress ball. Like that has never worked ever. Like has, does anybody relieve stress on those things? I just literally, I used them as a kid to whip them on my little brother's head because they're soft and spongy and it doesn't leave a mark, but it still kind of hurts, you know? <laughs> I received a package in the mail. Um, I'm gonna open it, I need to open it. I'll tell you why. So if you guys don't know, I have a mailbox open right now until the end of June. Watch this video right here really quick. Anyways, I got, uh, this was my very first package ever. It is from Nikki, and it is from Nina. Nikki and Nina. Sounds like an 80s lip sync band. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikki and Nina! But on here it says, dog play toys. Okay, I got a note. Hello, Dan. Nina and Nikki here. We got you some stuff that reminds us of you and some that might be useful, i.e. doggy bags. Uh, this better be in the video, ho. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Yours truly, Nikki and Nina. First, we got, uh, we got a dog toy. 
and he will freaking love this. I may even have to give it a couple chews. It looks awesome. Oh, freaking sweet. I need to try this for a sec. Just dip the... <laughs> oh! Oh my god, that's freaking sweet! We have a straw. It's like a crazy straw. Crazy straw. Okay, we've got a crazy straw. What else we got? Biodegradable waste bag refills. Yes! Yes! Whenever I walk Annie or walk my dog, I never seem to have a a bag to pick up her crap. So I end up bringing Ziploc bags. I've brought in full-on garbage bags in the past. And what else we got? Wacky streamers. Oh, shit! I just got the camera. Oh man, I feel like I, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. This is like the best package I've ever gotten. Water bombs. Hold on, what is this? What? A Rapunzel wand. If it's one of those like, you know, the whoosh, whoosh. Yes, it is! Um, let's open the rest of the package. I am for sure putting this on my wall. Uh, this is my team right here, Charmaine Maple Leafs. You guys are the best. These look freaking sweet. Hey, I'm wearing glasses now. What are these, like wine? Are these, oh my God, they're like wine goggles. <laughs> oh my God. I am bringing this to the bar next time I go out for sure. Probably won't make any friends. Hey guys, my name's Dan. These are my new glasses. These are my wine glasses. <laughs> Last but not least, yes, a bracelet. These are actually my favorite colors. Thank you guys, that is so nice. Thank you so much, Nikki and Nina. You guys are the best. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to my videos if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.